Okay, we shrink it, I guess, and we smash the window. Oh. Okay, you can't get me if this is on, right? Yeah, okay, phew. So that works. Let's, uh... Just force it back. Oh. Okay, I don't know how much damage that is, but I'll just risk it and just smash. Okay, that's not good. I'm taking loads of damage from that. Ah, oh, balls. Okay, let's sneak around the other side and uh, away from him. Ooh, it's coming quickly. Smashy, smashy! Is that it? Ah, cool. Right, that's it then. Was there anything in here worth it at all? Oh, let's have a look around. For my getting myself needing more energy drinks. It's really, really mean with the damage, I have to be honest. Like, taking very small hits and you just lose so much health. I guess because your idea is you've got four different teenagers, essentially four different life bars. But, uh... This should be no problem. Okay, so we can unlock this then. Okay. Um... Yeah. But still, it seems kind of mean, especially because I don't want to lose any, so I have to play quite carefully. But I don't know the game, so... Ooh, a flashlight! A oh, good quality flashlight, okay. Does that mean I can stick it on my gun? Do I have to take the old one off first? Okay, let's remove that one then. Okay. Uh, and then... Take the lamp to the pistol. Okay, cool. So I want to unload that one. And then I want to use... Oh, has it already done it? No, I want to use that one. So reload that one. Okay, so we got a burlier flashlight now. Sweet! That's good news. Da -da -da -da. Okay. I think this place needs violence. Yoink. I like that the glass seems to be like pre-renderedly smashed. It's kind of weird. Okay, what's in here? Uh, let's get the gun out first. I don't trust anybody in here. I'm going to use... <laughs> oh, okay, this is fantastic. Wait, wait. I recognise that walk. That's from Vampire the Masquerade, and it looks equally as awkward there. Oh god, I like crushed your ribcage by walking at a funny angle. Look. Oh, awful. Okay, there's nothing in here, is there? Uh, can't see anything anyway. Is there anything on the desks back here? No. Is this another room with, like, sod all in it? Books of sorts. Okay, there's a back room here. I mean, this would be the sort of place I'd put a healing item, you know? Just saying. Oh, there's a safe. Mm, okay. Well, I guess i got to find the code for the safe then. I didn't miss anything in here, did I? Oh, actually, yeah, flashy. What is it? Scrap of paper. A scrap of paper, funny enough. The text was covered up. I need a light source to read it. Yeah, gee, when am I going to find one of those? Luckily, there's OAP... Overhead projectors, OHPs. So, we got a big one. We can probably put it in that. I'll try that. Oh. So Gribbles? Yeah, it's Gribbles! Game over. Yeah, game over, sucker. Okay, uh... I'm gonna test out the bogs around here. See if there's anything else in here. Okay, boys first. Um, just as a heads up, last time I went in the toilets, the lights went crazy with strobe, so crap, might do it again. So strobe light warming, I guess. Sorry, I should have put that on a video. Oh, there's a vent up there. Okay. Should have put that on the video last time. It's really naughty me that I didn't. Sorry, I'm going to make sure I do it this time. Okay. The to the boys lose are kind of gribbly. Oh, those working mirrors are so good. Like, more modern games need working mirrors. Like, working mirrors is like, thumbs up job. Love it. Okay. Girls toilets next. There's always goodies in toilets, so fingers crossed. Come on. Yep, there is an energy drink on the floor of the toilet that looks open. Yep, I will take that and slap it in my pocket. Let's leave now then. Just in case we run into more Simons on the way. Okay, there's a vent, a grate there, so I'm going to take my favourite student. The medic lady. I told you to... I said wait here. Did you wait? She didn't get killed, did she? No, she just went back. I guess you want to talk to her friends. Outside on the lawn. You know, where spooky stuff's happening. Hey, you want to see something terrible? If we find a strong light, 
We might be able to see through the paper. Yeah, yeah. Totally ahead of you on that one. But what I need you for is to, like, stand on my shoulders again and preferably not show your panties to the world. Hopefully we get some healing items. I'm not sure we'll find any healing items in the loose, but you never know. I might get lucky. Da -da -da -da. Let's see. It was the boys' toilet, wasn't it? Yeah. Yoink. Up you go. Ooh. Okay, so I need the tool. You're a tool. Open it. Fuck it. Oh. <laughs> Bloody jump scares. I swear this game's going to be the death of me. Hopefully that heavy breathing didn't just cripple the microphone. Ammunition for the pistol. Thank you. Going to be leaving now. Thanks for that. It's fine. Not only with friggin' Simon number one going through the window. Got horrible gunk. Right, let's... Oh, I need a key. Oh, I don't have a key? So that room's off limits then. I'm gonna get a key from... Oh, the safe! Right, okay. Let's try that then. Should really probably give her a health kit, shouldn't I? It's asking for trouble. Okay, let's try this then. Nope. Yeah, try videotape. It's useless. I know, I'm just joking. Try the scrap of paper, of course. Two, four, three, two. Okay. Alright, well, let's give this a go then. No doubt this is where the key is then. Me and my best friend Meat Shield are coming with me. Preferably not, actually, because I don't want you to die. Two, four, three, two, wasn't it? That's two, four, three. Two, four, three, two, enter. I did it. I did it. Yes, well done. Good job. Okay, what have we got in here? A library key, sure enough, and... Oh, God. Dear Leonard and Herbert, I am writing to you as your friend. I have just come out of an eternal... I have just come out of a Seattle conference where your book, Eternal Life is Possible, had an explosive effect. Straight to the point, that book, then, I see. Your discoveries totally contradict the theories of Dr. Lennon Corsenberg, and I hope and expect an unfavorable reaction from the crowd. You have virulent detractors who fear that your research is immoral and casts a slur on the entire scientific community. I, I guess we were going to find out what those are then. I have analysed the file. Your theory certainly goes against the first law of medical ethics. You understand that without support of a reputation, it will have no other destiny than sinking into oblivion. And oblivion is big and random. Occasionally has imps in it. And sadly, I do not have the sufficient weight to prevent that. You may find salvation outside the scientific community. You know? I'm sorry, you know. I fear that sanctions may even be taken against you, and I cannot advise you strongly enough to locate your work in a safe place. A.K.A. you got probably got to stab people to death. Do it where no one's going to find you. I remain, my dear friends, yours sincerely, your loyal friend, Walt Keridan. Well, okay then. Alright, come on then. Miss almost about to keel over. Let's leave and try out the library. Should probably leave you behind, actually. I don't want to risk you getting killed. Uh, do I take her? Do I leave her? Do I take her? I don't know. I'll tell you what. If there's anything super grisly at the front of the library, I will... I'll just preferably shoot it. I'll, I'll just turn around, actually, and run. Okay, it looks... Okay, I guess. For now, I'm still super nervous. How much health do you actually have? Yeah, you're looking pretty bad there. It's looking pretty bad. Okay. Okay, let's... Destiny strikes again. Sorry, Destiny strikes the Friedman family again. The community is mourning over the death of Leonard Friedman. More than a citizen, the city has lost a brilliant, conscientious, and dynamic researcher. Leonard worked to advance the work of the Brotherhood. The Brotherhood? What, like culty sort of brotherhood? Or sinister kind of brotherhood? Or scientific brotherhood? What are we talking here? Because scientists usually come in two flavours. Both male and female, so it's not usually a brotherhood. It's not like, just a... Just a brother-sisterhood? I don't know. Anyway, not recalling from any obstacle. That's super sinister. The scientific community, despite its differences with the duo, admitted that he was among those who could have helped us advance in giant steps. As all the events surrounding this unusual family, the death of Leonard Freeman remains enigmatic. Although a good pilot, Leonard lost control of his craft before crashing into the sea. His twin brother Herbert, the only escapee from this terrible accident, gee, I wonder what happened there with Herbert, anyway, was rescued from the open sea off Long Island. Okay, so, oh, there's a disc there as well. I'm glad this, these things glow, though I'd never find anything. 
No! Okay, not a gribbler. Still, what's up with the loose arm? <laughs> Flail, flower, flappy, 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 flappy. Hello? Freeman, it's horrible. Why are you still here? But Why sir, aren't you there are these home? disgusting creatures. Here on the yes, school grounds? They're everywhere. You've got to do something. Kenny's missing. Mr. Walden said that he'd call the police, but... What? And it's Mr. a good Walden thing, too, is here? because he saved me. Go right now and see the janitor. He'll let you out. I'll tell him you're what? coming. And don't let me see you back until tomorrow morning. What about morning. Kenny? I'll take care of everything. The best thing you can do for now is to get out of here. Okay. Like, that was super weird. I mean, obviously he's all in on this whole thing, but just... Uh, what, are you, what are you doing here, kid? Uh, wait, why are you heavily armed? You have, you have like, three guns, like a million bullets. I mean, there should be reasons why there's so many bullets on school grounds anyway, but hey, select. Okay, so Janice is up by the dining hall. Okay, cool. Right, let's... I think I can't go through his door. No. Where does that even go? Oh, hang on, map. Oh, Christ almighty. The vegetation is really very strange, particularly the trees. Two more porters have disappeared and we have discovered a slashed corpse. The natives are frightened and want to leave the island, yet I think we are reaching our goal. The floor is evolving in parallel with our progress, which is difficult, both physically and morally. Bizarrely, the fauna is becoming rarefied, the atmosphere leaden, the silence heavy. The specimens found here in the geology show that this island was cut off from the world and has followed a parallel ecology, or ecological development, for 3,000 years. But this period of time would not be sufficient to cause such brutal changes. That would need millions of years. Something that has accelerated the evolution of the species and this ecosystem. I want to find out what it was. We have a trail. Black, putrefying matter, which appears overnight on the vegetation. Appears to be more and more prevalent. There's too many appears in a sentencing. Sorry. And appears to be more and appears appears to be appearing appearing and more and more prevalent as we progress northward. Sorry, I'll let it go. Traces indicate that this may come from the tubercul tubercular plant. It's like tuberculosis plant, maybe? Sort of thing, I guess. Anyway, t I mean, that's a lung disease, but anyway. Tomorrow we must reach the volcanic peak. Okay, I feel this fucker needs some, like, grammaring going on here. It's just oddly structured. Everybody's less is oddly structured than this. The soil is light in this part of the island, which should facilitate an analysis of the subsoil. Leonard. Travel journal. June 21st, 1895. Okay, so Leonard was super old. I mean, obviously he was an adult by this point. He died in, uh... Thanks for not showing me the same thing twice. He died in, what, like... 65? So... He had to be a good 90 years old when he was flying that plane anyway. That means his twin brother should also be 100 odd, I guess. When are our characters born? Don't we have like bios in this? 85, so... Assuming that Ashley here is, I don't know, 18? A stretch, I mean she looks 18, I guess. Um, so, at the very least, this is going to be around 1999, 2000-y. That'd be way older, 2005, I'm, I'm being dumb, aren't I? Sorry. Yeah, so this is going to be like, yeah, about 2003. Yeah, 2003, 2004. So, hmm. Yeah, so these guys are going to be friggin' ancient. That's super weird. Okay, what? Something's collapsed. You don't say. I figured it was just somebody farting. Come on. Okay, I'm actually going to end the set here, because next time it looks like we have to go dead ahead, so... Um, yeah. This thing's just full of creepy noises. The, the sound design's actually really good, I'm quite impressed. Everyone alright here? Having fun, lounging on the ground, standing around doing nothing? Good times, lads, good times. I'm going to end it here and save it, so thank you very much for watching, I do hope you enjoyed the set, and next time, I guess, we'll go into that kind of way, and see what's going on. And, uh, we'll have to just vampire walk. Shafty, Ashley, Shafty. Anyway, I'll I'll get amused with that as house, and I'll catch you all next time. Bye bye for now.